All right, our first poet for tonight is Gene Dickey. Gene Dickey's work has appeared in such literary journals as Passages North, Real, Caramu, and The Good Foot. She is working on a novel of fanciful glamour, which she hopes to complete by the end of the year, hopefully still. Mm -hmm. uh, if not sooner, an excerpt of that novel is forthcoming in the anthology, The Unbearable's Big Book of Sex. She is also, she's featured in our latest issue, book uh, issue number four, just FY, in case you, in case you want to buy a copy. Ladies and gentlemen, Jean Dickens. <laughs> Thanks for coming out. Um, this first poem has an epigram that's uh, probably familiar to a lot of people. It's a Persian proverb. I wept because I had no shoes until I saw a man who had no feet. And it's called Desires. I need a pair of shoes, comfortable, for my aching back, so that I can walk from the subway to the office to earn the money for the shoes. Pretty women wear sexy shoes. Their feet vault primly toward the firmament of billboards, where ten million posters illuminate every square inch of the city, masking its real seven circles, the blind windows with sheets instead of curtains. Behind them, girls who want shoes, not just any shoes, but the boots Julia Roberts wore in Pretty Woman, the ones she bought at the pretty prostitute store. Girls enticed by promises of America glimpsed in movies, a trip down a palm-strewn highway in a magnificent car, and not the high price paid for her childish body, but the beauty of painless street walking. <laughs> <laughs> 